Can you hear me all right? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh. So uh, five minutes, go ahead. Thank you so much. Um, as, as stated, my name is Kevin McGurk. I've been a public defender for almost 17 years. Um, and for 13 of the last 14 of those years, I've been in felony trials. So that's basically been what I've been doing every day in court. And as you heard earlier, there's very few things we can say as judicial candidates. It's not like running for Congress. I'm sure you're gonna hear I'll be fair a lot. And I'm no different. No one runs on a campaign to be unfair. But I'd like to bring up maybe three things in my experience that I think are notable to why I'm running for judge. And why I'm running is our civic institutions, in my view, are under a great amount of stress. And it's never been more important to have competent bench officers that can apply the law correctly, which I know seems self-evident, but unfortunately it isn't, uh, thoughtfully and fairly to everyone that comes through the door. And the first thing is, and it's been said already, is that my experience is on the public defense side which is underrepresented. In the last 10 years, I went back 10 years in this county. We've had 43 open judicial seats, 90% went to prosecutors, zero to the defense. That's half the court, um, zero for half the court, which would seem odd. And it seems even more odd because this state has been transitioning, our state, to a more balanced approach. Um, and this transition has been codified into law. It's, it's no longer just an opinion or a, a bumper sticker. This is the law. It's, been tra it's transitioning to a more balanced approach where incarceration is available when appropriate, but also there are alternatives um, such as structured programs for folks with mental illness, substance abuse, military trauma, and others. And being a defense attorney, that experience is never more relevant than now because it is the defense lawyers, the same defense lawyers shut out of elective judicial office that are tasked with imp implementing that vision. It's the defense that are required to go find the psychologists and coordinate the social workers and the, the treatment specialists and you name it all the way down the line, the defense does that. Um, so as the state moves toward this vision, it's the defense that has that experience that we've needed to learn rather quickly um, because the law is changing quickly. And that's experience that can prove helpful uh, for someone on the bench to have a, maybe a better sense of what's working and what's not. And that's not to mean that a, a judge with a prosecutorial background can't be a great judge. I know several judges that are exceptional that have prosecutorial backgrounds. I'm humbled that some have endorsed my campaign. I know prosecutors personally that I think would make terrific judges. But when it's when half the court's at zero, you know, I think we can broaden horizons just a bit. Um, two, like I said, I've been a trial lawyer for 13 out of the last 14 years. Um, I've, I'm in a courtroom every day. Uh, some positions aren't like that. Um, so it's important to be in a court to know how to run a courtroom, to have the trial experience to know one, what, so you're not rushed. You know, when things are rushed, um, mistakes get made. Um, I think I have the experience to know how to run a courtroom on day one. Last 10 trials have been serious or violent, last two were murders. Um, it, it's helpful to have done a few trials if you're tasked to run one, because we can talk about disposition alternatives, but there's that fundamental part of innocent until proven guilty. And when someone wants a trial, it better be done right. Um, so I think I'm a, I'm a candidate that can do that. And I have the temperament, the background and the experience to, to garner a look from you. And, and I hope I get that. So thank you for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. Um, so then our 